Well, welcome back everyone to another little bit of a news video. So today Planet Zoo has finally released some images of their red crown crane. In case if you guys don't know, the red crown crane is an Asian type of, you know, crane species. Uh, and they're extremely beautiful as you guys can tell from here. But we do have a few things that we should probably talk about. Uh, I have some concerns with this. First of all, we do have like a little bit of an image of the baby over here. You can kind of see that come into play right there. You could see her just, you know, chilling over there. We actually do have images of crown crane swimming over here and you can see just how well they're starting to pull that all together. It's a little dark over there, but that's just because of the shadow. But what we should probably talk about is the implications that this is going to have for modding and for all that stuff like that. So in case if you guys don't know, the crown crane Crane is an animal that all modders have been looking forward to for quite some time ever since, you know, we heard about the wetlands DLC, but there are some concerns with it, uh, be it that it looks to use the flamingo rig. Um, this is something that uh, isn't really a big issue, but it is a little puzzling as we, you know, we've been making crane mods with the flamingo rig all this time. And forgive me if you hear a little clang, I'm just moving my water bottle so I can see this a little bit better. But this crown crane is swimming, and while they can swim in real life, this is something that we weren't really expecting to begin with. Here's a picture of a crown crane swimming right here. Uh, it's nothing really too common but they are able to do it. I'm kind of happy that they include the behavior, but I think it's more so just a coincidence from using the flamingo rig. And it does look like they have the same wing clipping that they do from the flamingo as well, which, you know, a lot of people didn't really favor when they made the crane mod. So if we go over to Nexus and we look up crane, you can see that so many modders, and by so many, I just mean Bongo, have essentially taken off those, um, extra wings on top in favor of having a beautiful smooth transition to the wings uh this is something that i did like because when they do do their little dance they're still able to do that and i am looking forward to seeing how frontier will handle that little dance unfortunately they didn't show it off in the screenshot right here but we can probably hope that later down the line they will actually show it off a little bit better but maybe in like the trailer or something but that's essentially my qualms with it but this is still a beautiful model do not get me wrong in the slightest the fur texture is so beautiful on it they did the cap extremely well the eyes are striking as always but the beak is what i'm very much drawn to this is an incredible work of art right here and you know bongo i love you i love you so much but even you agree that this one you did an amazing job with it, don't get me wrong, but I'm so happy that we actually have an official one coming. It's going to be so great to have, it's going to be so amazing for cranes going forward, but those are just my little qualms with it, as well as the rest of the community. Now, I still want a shoe bill. I absolutely want a shoe bill. I think that this will make the shoe bill mods just a little bit easier. Uh, you can tell that they're extremely different when it comes to the rest of it, but you know what? I think we should be able to handle it pretty well. Um, but you know what? That's all we have with the Crown Crane. Very awesome animal, I have to say. It's going to be very much welcome in all of my zoos. But all that being said, we also have another quick little reveal. We do have a couple pictures of the Capybara. Now over here, you can probably see that we do have a lot of color variations with these guys. The babies have all these different variations over here, and it's so cool. We also see the female over here. You can tell the female because she doesn't have the scent gland on her nose. And they just look incredible. I'm so happy with them. They, of course, look a little bit stylized to be expected from Frontier, but it still looks incredible to begin with. And I really can't wait to build with these guys. But you know what? That is pretty much all my two cents when it comes to all this jazz. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this because I'm so interested to see how you all react to the Wetlands pack. It's becoming quite controversial recently which i kind of like it's a little bit more tea but i'm very interested to see how you guys react to you know all these latest reveals so of course my name is leaf in case if you guys are new here be sure to hit subscribe if you do want to keep up to date with all the latest planet zoo news i always love to cover it and really show off you know all the hidden little gems that some people may kind of glance over still can't wait to use those otters these are probably going to be some of my favorite signs they seem to be very much online with the north america signs and it's going to be so great but you know what we'll leave it there thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days bye bye now